Hey guys, so I just got my Rabbit R1 and I'm gonna be reviewing it in this short video with you guys. So let's just jump right in. All right, so first I wanna test how it searches for something online. So let's try something fun. Who is going to play the next James Bond? Give me a moment to look that up for you. The next actor playing James Bond is rumored to be Aaron Taylor Johnson, as reported by The Sun. However, no formal announcement has been made yet. Other actors like Cillian Murphy, Idris Elba, Tom Hardy, and Regé Jean Page have also been mentioned in connection with the role. Okay, so for all my future tech fans, let's try something else. I heard the James Webb Space Telescope has found some elements on another planet or exoplanet. Can you tell me about that? Searching now. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has made significant contributions to the study of exoplanets particularly in identifying the presence of various molecules in their atmospheres. In 2023, the JWST detected carbon dioxide and methane in the atmosphere of K218b, an exoplanet located 120 light years away in the constellation Leo. This discovery added to the theory that K218b could be a Hycean exoplanet, characterized by a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and a water ocean-covered surface. In addition to carbon dioxide and methane, the JWST also tentatively detected dimethyl sulfide, DMS, in the atmosphere of K218b. On Earth, DMS is produced by ocean phytoplankton, suggesting the potential presence of life on the exoplanet. However, further investigation is required to confirm this detection, as the initial signal was not strong and could be mistaken for methane. The JWST's observations of K218b have expanded our understanding of the X. It's a pretty detailed uh, explanation. Okay, now I'm going to try to make a, an image. Can you show me what the James Webb Space Telescope looks like in an image with galaxies behind it? It's kind of lagging here. It's what I notice sometimes is that it'll lag. Sometimes it takes a while. I can't provide real-time images or visual content. If you're interested in seeing images of the James Webb Space Telescope and its surroundings, I recommend searching for images online or visiting official sources. It totally misunderstood me. Can you create an image for me of the James Webb Space Telescope with galaxies behind it? I can't directly generate images. However, you can search for images of the James Webb Space Telescope with galaxies in the background on various image websites. That's so not true. Sources like NASA's website. That's so not true because it made images for me already on Midjourney. And I'll have to show you guys. Um, I guess I, I might have taken a picture or two. I'll have to show you. I'll try one more time. Create an image for me of the James Webb Space Telescope with galaxies behind it. Unfortunately, it's just lagging like crazy. That's too bad. Sometimes I guess it's faster than other times. I don't know why it's so slow this time and it's not even making the images for me. So as you can see here, it did create these from the rabbit. Um, this one I don't have a video for. But this one, you can see what I had this was based on that JWST, the James, Webb, uh, the James Webb Space Telescope. I was asking it about the exoplanet and I asked it to make me an image and it did work. You know, um, same with my girlfriend's dog. I asked for a Maltese dog superhero flying through the air in the city and it made it for me. But it's not working now for some reason. So I apologize for this review not being as great as you had hoped for, but this is what it is. Let's move on to the vision. Okay, let's try vision with uh, this wall that has a whole bunch of stuff on it. What do you see here? Taking a look now. I see a variety of decorative and cultural items displayed on a wooden surface. There is an om symbol, a large knife or dagger, a decorative surfboard, and a colorful fan with patterns. There are also some small figurines, including an Eiffel Tower model and a potted plant. The overall impression is of an eclectic collection of decorative and cultural items, 
creating an interesting and visually stimulating display. That was pretty good. All right, so I'm going to try one more time to generate an image. I just did it a second ago and it actually worked and I wasn't recording, so I'm going to try one more time. Can you create an image of the James Webb Space Telescope for me with some galaxies behind it? Got it. Please be patient while I'm generating your image. It's working. Now he's got to wait. It's going to take a while. We'll see how long it takes. You can actually see it creating them live on the computer. I successfully generated your images with the James Webb Space Telescope and galaxies. I notice you can't click on it or you can't scroll here. You got to use the scroll wheel to scroll through them. But it finally worked. So overall, I don't know what to say. Um, I feel like I'm a little underwhelmed with the rabbit in general. It's functional. It works. I can talk to it. I can ask it questions. It'll talk to me. I can create images. As you saw, it took a little while to get that working. It'll pull information from the internet. So it is pretty current and uh, it does have the camera with vision so it can see what the camera sees and explain to me what it sees. I don't know how, um, you know, effective that is. I can look at my fridge and it can tell me what's in my fridge and make a recipe from that, I guess. But I find myself trying to figure out what I could actually use it for. It's not as useful as my phone, my iPhone. My iPhone has so many apps on it. It's so easy to use. I know the whole point of this is to eliminate apps. But I find it to be kind of clunky, like I can't leave my house with it because it's, it's working on my Wi-Fi and I'm not going to put a SIM card in there, it's a waste of money. Um, and ChatGPT, I'm sorry, I use ChatGPT all day long and it's so much quicker and easier for me and I can see the responses, I can copy paste them, I can, you know, keep talking to it. Rabbit is, is slow. The, the, the streaming responses are very slow. I can't continue the conversation. I can't see the conversation later. I can't save the images unless I go onto my computer. I don't know. It's fun to have. I mean, as you see, I have a lot of techie stuff behind me. I have lots of gadgets, so it's just another gadget to add to my collection, really, as far as I'm concerned. But I don't know how much I'm going to use it. Um, take this review for what you will of, of what my honest opinion is and let me know if you got a rabbit and if so what are you doing with it and uh, leave it in the comments so i can at least see what other people are doing with the rabbit i know it can do a lot more for example you can connect uh, spotify uber and doordash i didn't do any of that i connected midjourney that's how i was able to generate the image but um, that's about all i see on here i just don't have the patience for it right now <laughs> i wanted something that was more functional a little quicker and had more usefulness but i'm not seeing it but it's a really cool device. It's very small. It's unique. It has the touch for the push to talk. It's got the scroll wheel. It's got the camera. So it is pretty cool. Um, but I need, I need more functionality for this to, to be meaningful to me. Hope you guys enjoyed my review.